So we are here at the Steampunk Coffee Bar and Kitchen in Valley Village. Um, it's the first time we've been here, um, and um, it was pretty awesome. Um, the only thing is that um, it, it, the theme is supposed to be steampunk, and granted, half of this place is perfectly steampunk. Right. But um, but the other half looks like, you know, regular ca I, I don't even know Cafe, diner, yeah, marble unpainted plastic chairs. wall. Yeah, there's just a few holes. But the parts that are filled in, you can see behind us. They've got, you know, the, the steampunk elements, yeah. the rusted metal, the pipes. So they're trying that they push a little harder and kind of fix the uh, the areas that are missing it, I think. Yeah. I think it'll be home run. But uh, bottom line is parking is okay. You can park in the back if there's space. Um, yeah, try the back. So out you don't front, have to worry about street sweepers. Yeah, out front is, yeah, there's street cleaning, but there's also one hour parking, so it's not great for long term. Um, the coffee is ridiculous. It was amazing. Yes. Um, I had the chai tea and I felt like I was tasting Christmas. <laughs> it was delicious. I didn't have that. I had mocha. It was really I saw good. Santa. It was, it was beautiful. Um, and the food was good. The food was amazing. Yeah, I, we are, I had a wrap. Okay. They, they offer you, you can have the salad in a wrap or a la fork and yeah. I got it wrapped up. It was really good. And the service was great. Oh yeah, Jennifer. 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 Very she was back there. Yes. She was awesome. She brought me like ten different kinds of dressings. And yeah. No, really, really sweet. Good service. Um, and we are here with two other authors, Marnie Troop and Natasha Troop, who just moved here from Arizona. Back. Back. Thank you very much. Back. 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 Yeah. Um, so they're so here to put in their two cents so about the this food. cafe for yeah. Friday. There we go. Hey y'all. Hey there. Oh, you forgot to mention the uh, the line. The, the only ahead. issue I had was that we were in a very short line to check out, well, to, to buy or for, to order the food. You walk up and you order up front. Um, and for having two people in front of me, it took about twice as long as it probably should have. But then the food came out really fast, actually. For, and for the quality of the food, it came out really fast. So, yeah, no, I, I thought it was great. They, they have a, a sauce here. It's a habanero mushroom onion aioli, and it's... Brilliant, spicy though. So if you like spicy, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's actually spicy. And then they said it. I made it with dirty chai, which is uh, chai tea with a shot of espresso in it. And if you're a coffee person who likes chai, it's fantastic. So I had a mocha, and that was freaking mocha delicious. Really, <laughs> <I know. laughs> really good. You had the decaf, right? I had decaf. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay, we're sticking around. Bye. So writing wise. Free Wi-Fi. Yes. yes. Easy to plug in. The atmosphere is not too noisy. It's you have pretty to ask relaxed. For the, you have to ask for the... You ask for the password up front, yeah. and they give it to you. So. And um, so if, you, if, you, if you're hungry, I would say, and you want to eat and then write, this yeah. is the place because the food's really good. It's really good. It is a little pricey. Yeah. Yes. Just a little. Yes. So just be aware. Like I'd say the wrap was like nine bucks. The yeah. chai was three. Yes. I had a scramble. It was about ten. So it's ranging right. from I'd say about seven to fifteen bucks. So it is kind of pricey. Um, so be if we got fifteen bucks and you want to sit, eat, then write, check it out. We're good. Yay.